In this video, we're going to look at how to finally learn how to fit our distribution of heights data. Then in the following exercise, you'll actually do that for yourself. And then in the next video, we'll wrap up with looking at how to do this practically in MATLAB or Python. So we're looking at how to fit a function that's arbitrarily complicated compared to the simplest case of linear regression, y equals mx plus c, that we looked at last time. Of course, there's intermediate possibilities between very complicated and the simplest possible, but this gives you the general case before we move on to look at how to do this in the computer using tools instead of writing our own. So let's say we have a, a function y uh, of some variable x, um, and that function has parameters in it a k, where k goes from uh, 1 all the way up to m. So there's m of these a's. So for example, we could have uh, x minus a1 squared plus a2. That would be an example of some function y. This function isn't linear in a1, notice. If I double a1, I don't double the function. Um, so it's a non-linear least square, as we're going to do. Now, say I want to fit the parameters a, k to some data. So I've got uh, some data observations. I've got uh, i equals 1 to n of them. And I've got uh, pairs of data, y, i, and x, i. So for every x, I've got a y. And I have an associated uncertainty, sigma, i. That is, uh, the more uncertain I am about the, the data point y, i, the bigger the uncertainty sigma is going to be. So I can, I can sketch that out. Something like, uh, like this, for instance, uh, as an example um, of my yi's and my xi's are there. So I've got an xi, yi. And each one's got a, an uncertainty, uh, sigma i, there. Then I'm going to define a goodness of fit parameter, chi squared, chi squared there, as being the sum over all the data points i. Um, of the difference between the yi and the model um, of xi uh, with its parameters a, k. Um, and I'm going to divide all of those by sigma squared, um, and I'm going to take the squares of the differences. So what I'm doing here is I'm penalizing each of these differences by an uncertainty sigma squared. Um, when I make um, chi-squared, so that uncertain data points have a low weight in my sum of chi-squared, so that they don't, balance, they don't affect the fit too much. Um, if we don't know what the sigmas are, we could assign them all to be 1, right? This will just drop out. But if we have an idea of the measurement uncertainties, this gives us a way to include it. And my minima for chi-squared is, of course, going to be when the grad of chi-squared is equal to 0. Now, in the general case, I might be able to write down an expression for grad here, but I might not be able to solve it algebraically. So instead, I'm going to look to solve grad chi squared equals zero uh, by steepest descent, going down the contours, simply by updating the vector of fitting parameters a. So I've got my vector a. I'm going to say that my next iteration is going to be my current iteration minus some constant times the grad of chi squared. So I'm going to go down the gradient here um, by an amount given by the constant, which is sort of a pull handle for how aggressive I want to be in going down the steepest descent. And that I'm going to use to make my next um, guess for what the fitting parameters should be. And I'm going to write them down as a vector. And I'll keep doing that until the, I reach this criteria, that the grad of chi squared is 0, or, which means I've found the minima. Or failing that until chi squared stops changing, which should be the same thing, right? Or I just give up because it's been so many iterations and I get bored and I decide that something's gone wrong. So to do this grad, I've got to differentiate chi squared. So I've got to do d chi squared by d a k for each of the k's in turn. And when I do that, well, the sum has nothing to do with k, because it's to do with i. Um, and I'm going to get a 2 down. Um, and I'm going to get the sigma squared has nothing to do with k. When I differentiate this, I'll get the 2 down, so, and then I'll have the bracket itself, yi minus y of x, i, and the a, k's. Um, and then I'm going to get the differential of the bracket. I get a minus sign out of that, and I get dy, d, a, k. So I get dy, d, a, k. So that's going to be my differential there. The minus 2 I can just take out. So when I come to update here, if I 
wrap the minus two into the constant, I can just make that a plus, ignore the two. So I'm then going to get uh, a current plus this thing, the sum from i equals one to n, because the minus signs will go, I'll wrap the two into the constant, then I'll just get this, y i minus y of x i and the a k's divided by sigma squared times the differential evaluated at a current, because I don't know a next yet. So the steepest descent formula here is just going to be that a next is equal to a current plus this sum, and I've got to be able to differentiate y with respect to a k. And this is one of these formulae that look really intimidating, but really isn't when you actually try to use it. For our example here, um, we take this example here, if we differentiate that with respect to a1, then we'll get uh, that dy by a1 is equal to minus 2x minus a1. Um, I get, take the 2 down and I get a minus sign when I differentiate the stuff in the bracket. And when I do dy by dA2, I'm just going to get 1. So it's actually really easy when we come to um, finally um, use it, but the expression looks intimidating. So that's the steepest descent formula for the case of fitting a nonlinear function, where we're trying to minimize the sum of the squares of the residuals, uh, and this is therefore called nonlinear least squares fitting. There are lots of more complicated methods than steepest descent for solving these sorts of problems, which we'll look at a little bit next time. But first I want you to try and give this a go and code it up and see how it looks for the sandpit problem that you were doing before. So that's the simplest version of how to do a general fitting, uh, a finding of the minimum or least value of the sum of the squares of the residuals for a model that's nonlinear in both the functions and the fitting parameters. So it's called generalized nonlinear least squares fitting.